G'day everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video we're going to be talking about are Pokemon cards actually a good investment? Let's talk about it. Right, so over to the computer here. I have made a spreadsheet about one month ago now and it has all the information in regards to sealed products for booster boxes and elite trainer boxes. Roughly how much we purchased them for and how much we could sell them for at this current time. Now in purple is all the sword and shield. Yellow is all the sun and moon. Red is all the X and Y. Blue is all the black and white, then we've got Soul Silver, Platinum, and the Diamond and Pearl era of Pokemon cards. Now, as I said, this is just strictly booster box and elite trainer boxes. So, Sword and Shield, we aren't going to worry about too much because pretty much a majority of those sets are still out. But we'll go down to Sun and Moon. I'm just going to go briefly over all of these. Um, obviously, you can pause the video and have a look, look at yourselves. But we're going to start with. This row right here I've just highlighted. This is uh, set name Cosmic Eclipse. It released on November 1st, 2019. The booster box I have put all roughly at about $100, $180 Australian. Obviously, you may have paid more. Obviously, you may have paid left less. This is just an average, just to make this a bit easier. But anyway, the current booster box value is sitting at about $638. Now, this is taken off of eBay sold listings and also it had to detracted from the 15% fees. So yes, it has sold more on eBay, but this price here, the 638, is actually what you would pocket after those fees. So the 638 would bring you to a return on investment of 254%. Now that was released in 2019, and you, usually Pokemon cards, the booster boxes and elite trainer boxes, you can get for around retail for about one to two years. So if we were to say that we could have purchased this around mid 2021 early 2021 for the last probably 12 to 18 months it has been out of print and it has already increased 254 percent roi which is amazing right so then we move on to the elite trainer box of the cosmic eclipse which was roughly about 70 dollars and it is now worth $340, so 385% return on investment, which is crazy given that it was only been out of print for a couple of years. Similar trends with Unified Minds, as we can see, we've got an ROI for the booster box at 159%, and the Elite Trainer box 515% return on investment. We can see that the next one down, Elite Trainer box 500%, 515%, 207%, 300%, etc, etc. You can see that a majority of these elite trainer boxes in the Sun and Moon era have done pretty well considering they ha only, only have been out of print for a couple of years. And same with the booster boxes as well. There are the ROIs for that as well. X and Y, booster box ROI we can see in this column here. 419, 88, 116, 183%, etc. And then we go down to Flash Fire, which is actually over 1,000% ROI. And then the Elite Trainer boxes over here, some of these have actually increased over 2,500% ROI, which is just crazy. Now at a $1,700 value, and you could have picked it up for about 60, 65 bucks back when it was out. Then we, if we go back to the very older sets, back from like 2013, 2012, 2011, etc., we can see that they all have a value of over $2,000, which is just, <laughs> it is crazy considering that you could have picked them up for about 150, 180 bucks. So their ROI is again over that $1,000 mark, 1,000% uh -huh, mark, sorry. Uh, the other sheet I've made up is this one here. I did do a video on this early on my channel, um, booster boxes or elite trainer boxes which is a better investment and as you can see from the graph here in on th this side here is booster boxes and on this side here is elite trainer boxes as you can see elite trainer boxes do tend to have the better ROI compared to the booster boxes and on the last sheet here I'll click it down here was just a bit of a key so in red the ROI was from 0 to 100% orange 100 to 200 yellow green blue goes higher and higher and higher Pink is over a thousand percent, and as you can see, the majority of the older sets are actually pink, and they've done better than a thousand percent ROI. And a majority of the sets are orange, green, blue, and yellow. There is only a handful that are actually red, but they are named, especially Steam Siege, Crimson Invasion, are known as the pretty crappy sets that we wouldn't have invested in anyway. But anyway, to answer the question, are Pokemon cards a good investment? Yes, hundred percent, absolutely, they are. It is amazing, as we can see from the spreadsheet that I have created. But if you did find this information interesting, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.